Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, um, this is what I look like when I wake up. <laughs> um, but be, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow. I made it to 500 subscribers, guys. I'm so happy. Not that I really like care, obviously, like about the subscriber count, but it's just cool, I guess, seeing the number. I don't know. Um, today, I thought I would take you kind of in the day of my life. Um, because I've tried to vlog so many times since the last time I did and I don't know why I keep failing to be honest um, I tried vlogging over Christmas I don't know again failed again um, this little guy is behind me I am doing really well at applying my SPF every day because an esthetician told me that she can already see sun damage on my skin I said this is what I'm using because honestly, we're on a budget, okay? Works fine. So unfortunately, last night, I barely got any sleep. I don't know why my kid had a hard time sleeping last night. Um, so, you know, my plan was today to work and, you know, do a lot of things and just have like a regular, like full kind of like work day plus whatever mom day. Um, but I'm thinking of kind of just switching that around. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll work Saturday instead and kind of like take today off. Um, I'm just glad I, I had like the flexibility to do that. Um, a virtual assistant for those who don't know, and basically what a virtual assistant does is kind of like, I help basically like small business owners and influencers and coaches like with their businesses virtually, right? So because I'm <laughs> an entrepreneur, <laughs> um i have flexibility like in my schedule which is like really good so i think today i mean I, I do still have stuff to do today so i'm gonna film um but i think i'm gonna like take it easier than um i originally intended and kind of just enjoy well basically i'm just gonna do one job today okay be a mom and a wife and give us two jobs um instead of three jobs <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy got all ready. What do you think? You look uh, pretty. Uh. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Hey. Usually Sammy has, usually me and Sammy have eggs every morning. I'm just not in the mood today. And I can tell we're both just kind of sick of it, so... I'm just giving him some toast with nut butter and some fruit and I'm going to make like a, I don't know, like a diet type of breakfast for myself. <laughs> okay, here is Sammy's breakfast. Actually kind of looks like croutons, that's really funny. And here's my breakfast. I actually really do like rice cakes. What are you doing, sir? Where are your pants, mister? Okay, are, you, are you drunk? Like... <laughs> Hi, you look really pretty with the sunlight in your eyes. Hey, hey let's go on an adventure. It, there is layers and layers and layers of snow. Right, Bubby? There's so much snow. Just to get in the car from inside has taken 45 minutes because cleaning off the car, whatever, just whole snowstorm. I dyed my hair since the last time you guys saw me and it's like you can really tell in the light and you can kind of see it growing out. I officially am a gray girl. <sighs> yeah, like I don't know if you can see it, but it's one of those where I think I'm gonna be, I think I've entered into the stage where I'm gonna be like dyeing my hair for the rest of my life and like unless I wanna be gray, which is like, I'm only 27 guys, but apparently hair is one of the most like genetic things on your body and it happened to my mom when she was like, actually younger than me so at least i made it a little bit further than her we are actually going to sammy's drop-in program that we go to every week usually we walk no matter the weather i've been doing so good at walking even if it's like really cold and hailing the last time i walked now the only thing holding me back is my stroller does not push in the snow so like the like it's there's nowhere even like 
decently cleared for me to push the stroller. So we're driving, it's like literally like a 20 second drive. Um, if I can get out of the driveway, golly, oh boy. Honestly, having a child has really made me appreciate living somewhere with four seasons. Like before, when I was commuting, when I was taking commuter trains, no thanks. Winter, no. Snow, negative, okay? But now that I have a kid, I'm really appreciating like living somewhere that has the four seasons. Like I just love seeing him experience like the snow, playing in the snow and just like, I just think about how much fun I had as a kid like in the winter time in the snow and even like just how you can have so much fun like in all the different seasons. I don't know, it feels like when you have a kid, you get to be a kid again. And that just feels like the most fun part of this experience for me. And I think that's what, that is what I've been looking forward to really. Cause to me, the baby stage, like zero to one, like it's kind of boring, right? Like it's uh, no shade to babies. They can't walk, they can't talk, like whatever. It, it's precious in its own way, but I just love this stage so much. Like this is what I always look forward to. So just seeing him like experience the world for the first time is amazing. So at Sammy's drop-in this week, they're having like a family literacy theme or whatever. I think it's basically like you're celebrating like each child's like culture. So Sammy is Italian and Zimbabwean. So I was like, okay, like what can I bring to celebrate the cultures, right? Cause they were telling us like, you know, bring stuff, whatever. So I had this whole plan in my head. I was like, I'm gonna go to the Italian shop near me on um, Thursday morning. I'm gonna get myself a coffee. I'm gonna buy like these like really nice cookies for everyone. And then now we're dealing with the snowstorm and like I can't even push a stroller and stuff. So, didn't happen this morning. So, but I did bring these other like Italian cookies from home, um, which actually probably might work out better because they're like baby cookies. So like the other kids can eat them. Um, and then I have this like, um, this African like skirt that my mother-in-law brought me back from Zimbabwe. So I was talking about it with her about how like, um, I can kind of like lay it out in front of Sammy and like take like a picture with it and stuff like that. So it'll be really cute. to travel, mm -hmm. uh, buy horse and stuff, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was originally from uh, my oh, house. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two hours later. Just woke up from a nap. Little boy, what are you doing? Honestly, yeah, I haven't taken a mid like afternoon nap for a while because this is like the time I usually work while he's napping. I feel drunk, groggy, I don't know what the word is. Um wow. All this kid wants to do is climb, like literally. That's all you want to do, climb, right? Come down, please. Come. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's on a mission, everybody. So I'm on a mission, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give the pacifier to everybody? Okay. <laughs> See you. 
enjoy. <laughs> okay, give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. Ah, uh, I'm sleepy. Ah. 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 I was trying to like still sleep when he woke up and he was giving me the pacifier so I could go back to sleep. This is the only way I get to the gym two different times a week. I'm going to the gym now. I feel like I look crazy. Um, I'm going. And honestly, today has been busier than I kind of wanted it to be because I really just wanted, really I wanted to lie down and watch movies today. But after the gym, I have to go to a few stores. So I'm not really doing nothing today. And then I have to come home and cook and then clean. So my day of relaxing is not really relaxing. <laughs> I am spraying my favorite perfume. Please nobody talk to me. <laughs> my sister-in-law got me this for Christmas. I've been dreaming of it for so long. It smells like baby powder, but like more delicious. And I'm spraying it before the gym because I honestly feel like I stink right now. And it sounds weird, but I just feel embarrassed like when I stink, even if I'm at the gym, I don't know. I just have a hard time with it, so. Now I smell beautiful. To me, the gym is such a weird <laughs> picture of how we've evolved as society because it's like, okay, now that we don't actually have to like be active all day, we've just like collectively decided we're going to put heavy things in this one place and you have to drive to this one place and pay to enter this one place to go inside and lift heavy things. <laughs> like, it's such a strange thing to me. Like, or even like, even if you're not lifting things, you're going to like a spin class, like we're just all going to pay to enter into this one place where we're going to like move our bodies like it's such a weird thing but with that being said i did my workout okay i'm very happy um i was just determined today because i was on a time limit and nothing was working out in my favor like every bench was taken every mach every did i need machines no i didn't need machines but every basically everything i wanted was taken and I was on a time limit. So I was like, okay, let me, and I forgot my bands and I need my bands for my workout. So I was like, okay, let me, let me do this instead. And it was like, no, it was taken. And it was like, and the gym is like packed right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it work. I figured out like substitutions. I figured out what to do and I did it. Okay. Very happy. Very proud of myself. So I've lost seven pounds so far, which I'm actually really, really, really happy about. And I honestly can't stress enough how happy i am that i really just gave myself that year i know a year sounds like a long time um i don't th think you should let yourself go obviously i think there was a little bit of a time i don't i don't even like the words let yourself go but basically there was a time where um i was eating just really poorly and that's how i actually gained more weight like when i was breastfeeding than i really needed to there's a person driving off with their trunk wide open i actually lost pretty much all of my pregnancy weight in the first like two months like strictly from breastfeeding because when you breastfeed you burn 500 to 700 calories a day did you know that that's actually crazy okay so when you're breastfeeding you're supposed to be eating a lot of calories like to you know produce a lot of milk and stuff my issue was yeah i was eating a lot of calories but they weren't good calories i wasn't eating healthy for some time so i ended up gaining back like 10 pounds um, which again, honestly, numbers on the scale, like don't matter. Um, but for me, that's just like an easy way to like make sense of things like in my head. Um, so now I'm actually only two pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight, but I look totally different. Like everything just redistributed on my body. Like I look very different. So, um, yeah, I kind of just want, I'm just ready to feel better about myself again. I haven't felt good about my body um, for a while. If you're a new mom and you're watching this, I just want to tell you, give yourself grace because I feel like that first year of your child's life is just pure survival mode and it's pure like just wake up and survive. <laughs> and I feel like for some moms, they have an easier time like snapping out of that. Like definitely at least for the first few months, it's like that. And I know some moms, they just have an easier time like 
getting out of whatever it is that survival mode that funk or whatever um and some moms have a hard time i have to admit i honestly didn't realize that i was actually like in postpartum depression or that i had postpartum depression until after i came out of it and i think postpartum depression is such a like a what's the word it's kind of like a blanket thing like there's so many underlying reasons as to like why you're feeling that way and i think for me the number one thing was um breastfeeding because breastfeeding makes you exhausted and i breastfed for a year and you don't realize how much energy it sucks out of you man if you look up how much energy breastfeeding takes out of you it's a lot like i don't remember the statistic the statistics but just look it up i promise you it's a lot okay <laughs> and I would sleep and I wouldn't feel rested. I just never felt rested. I don't think I've been rested <laughs> for a long time, okay? But now I feel like a lot better. Like I I just feel, even if I just get like five hours, six hours of sleep, I feel so much more rested than I did before. And it was because of the breastfeeding. And I know it's because of the breastfeeding because immediately when I was done, it's it was like oh, an overnight difference within me. I felt so much more rested which therefore mentally made me feel so much better. And I know like one of the biggest issues when it comes to like depression is lack of sleep. Like when you're not sleeping well, it really messes with your head. So I am just grateful that I was able to breastfeed as long as I did. I'm really grateful that I'm done breastfeeding. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically what I was trying to say in all of this is give yourself grace as a mother because you're doing the hardest thing you've ever had to do in your life. <laughs> it takes you a while to learn how to love yourself again. It takes you a while to learn um, even just how to fit yourself into your own schedule. Um, so give yourself grace and if you want to learn from my mistakes and you don't want to gain extra weight, just eat healthy while you're breastfeeding. <laughs> eat a lot. Eat a lot of calories, okay? But just don't eat the chocolate, girl. Don't eat the McDonald's because the McDonald's, for me. But listen, if you don't care if you gain a few pounds, eat the McDonald's, girl. One hour later. <gasps> oh, yeah. Look at all this green goodness, okay? And, ready? There we go. I just took pretty much all the veggies that we need to use up. And I'm like, let me put it in the mix. We are, we are just in pure chaos zone right now. Um, this is what happens when I don't put the TV on and I need to get things done. It's like, I'm overstimulated right now. How about you, Sammy? You look like you're having a blast. Red, orange, yellow. One eternity later. Guys, it's like five days later and I fully got sick and Sammy fully got sick. But we're out here. We made it. I'm editing. And I just want to say bye because I didn't record any like goodbye clips. So thanks for watching. I pray that you're blessed in Jesus name. Um, I pray you return. I pray you subscribe. I show some love. <laughs> Um, here's a clip of me cracking eggs and Sammy just having a ball and yeah, that's your closing video. So <laughs> thanks again for watching guys. Zucchini. Oh, 
aqui. Uh oh. Wow, I know. Wait. Okay, one more. Let me look. Let me look. Oh. 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 Yeah, we're not gonna 